Senator Omidbar, please. Thank you, Chair. Uh, my question is short, but both your answers might be long. So let me ask you a question about Germany, which is pivotal in so many ways uh, uh, to this whole question. What's your assessment of the efforts they have made, both within their own uh, jurisdiction and in partnership with others? And what message would you like to see Canada uh, uh, share with our German colleagues uh, in the context of the war in Ukraine? Yeah, thank you. We'll start with Mr. Maresh. Go. I would say that there are two kinds of countries with respect to Russia's aggression against Ukraine. There are countries which are trying uh, wholeheartedly help us, and they're doing more than they can afford. For example, small Estonia, only 1,300,000 people, but they're doing a lot, and they are asking constantly the question, how can we be helpful? What can we do for you? At the same time, there are big countries who claim to be leaders of Europe, who can do much more to Ukraine to, to, survive, to help us to survive and to defend uh, our civilians. But they're not doing enough. They're not doing enough, unfortunately. And my message to these countries is to use an example, such countries as Estonia, as Poland, as other Baltic states, uh, and as the United States and the United Kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ambassador? Um, we would like, of course, the countries, and there are two things from what we need from the big European economies and big European democracies is to show that they all really stand for the democracy. And that's where we as Ukraine stand in this war, which is the support of uh, Ukraine adherence to be the candidate member for the EU. And this is important, both the political, economical, and also for the security. It's a very important thing for Ukraine. And we do think we, we have already paid a lot for our European integration and for European values, in, and we are paying it every day. The second thing is the military supply as well. Um, so several times, and I, one more time, I would say timing is a huge issue. And this war, because of so many impacts on so many countries, so you cannot hide from this war. There is no country that will not suffer from the consequences of Russian war against Ukraine. And so not making decision and, and making them too long will even complicate the situation and complicate the global economy and global food security, energy security. Of course, we are, uh, of course, with this six package of sanctions, we do think that, that is, and from the Germany and from the EU side, it's a good step forward. A lot more needs to be done, but uh, we do think that there is much more need to be done in from big European economies to support Ukraine in this time. Thank you very much, Ambassador. Uh, we 